Do you struggle with a sluggish metabolism where you're feeling like your energy just drags all throughout the day and also your brain doesn't seem to be working the way it used to? Well, today I want to talk about the five best ways to support your metabolism after 40, how to have energy and banish brain fog. Definitely stay until the end because I'm going to be talking about an age-old vitamin that a lot of people have forgotten about that is super important for metabolism and brain health. May here, nerdy dietitian and functional medicine detective. I love helping busy people look and feel their very best in their 40s, 50s, and beyond. If you haven't already, make sure you grab my must-have food guide for feeling your best. It has all the things you need to get started on this nourishing journey. Or one of the best things you could do to boost your metabolism after 40 is to make sure you have stable vitamin G all throughout the day. G stands for glucose. A lot of women I work with are skipping meals or eating the wrong kinds of foods for their meals, and they're having this kind of blood sugar roller coaster ride. It's almost like shocking your computer with an inconsistent voltage. Think about what that does to your hard drive and to your battery. It totally fries it, right? Same with our bodies. Our metabolism wants even steven fuel all throughout the day. So think vitamin G for glucose. I want you to think of sugar and processed flours when it comes into your body as like a fire hydrant of glucose hitting your bloodstream. A better way to fuel and to make sure you have that stable energy throughout the day for your brain and all your cells is to eat natural carbs in their whole form, such as beans, starchy vegetables, maybe some whole grains, depending on who you are. And that ends up being like an IV drip of sugar into your bloodstream, steady, stable, and drawn out versus spiking. If you wanna learn more about how to eat to have stable vitamin G throughout the day, keep an eye out for my next Nourishing Yourself Masterclass. The next best thing you can do to boost your metabolism in your 40s and beyond is to take care of a very important gland called your adrenals. And they are in charge of making things like cortisol, epinephrine, neuroepinephrine, which are catecholamines, basically neurotransmitters that help stimulate the brain when we're in fight or flight. And they also make a really important hormone for our brain called DHEA. Now, all the clients I work with, we always run labs and make sure DHEA is as high as it can be. And if it's super low, it's an indication that the adrenals have been suffering for many, many years. How well you fare through perimenopause and menopause a lot of times depends on how healthy your adrenals are. And stress is the most aging hormone and the worst thing we could do for our metabolism. Find healthy stress coping mechanisms that don't involve food or alcohol or cigarettes. The next best way to boost your metabolism after 40 so you can have the energy and the brain health you want is to take a look at your gut. Now, if you have something called leaky gut, you are setting yourself up for a leaky brain. If you have leaky brain, we're starting to see neuroinflammation. Not so good for brain function and terrible for energy also. So what do you do if you have leaky gut? I have a few tips for you. Number one, make sure you are pooping every single day. No one likes to talk about their poop. I definitely want to see a nice healthy snake in the toilet every day. So make sure you're pooping. If you're not pooping, tell me. Tell someone. Get some help. Another really important thing for gut health is to make sure your microbiome has enough diverse food, especially plant-based food coming down. One of my biggest tips is looking for five colors on a plate. Every meal you eat should have five colors. And I'm not talking about green eggs and ham or purple ketchup. I'm talking about real color coming from foods. It is a fight, but it's worth it. If you always eat broccoli, look at the other vegetables in the category of cabbage and broccoli. There's a ton out there. Another really important piece of having a great metabolism so you can have the energy and the brain function you want is to take care of your mitochondria. These are the little organelles in your cells that power your cell. They also communicate with your cell about repair. By the way, 25% of the energy your mitochondria make go to fuel your brain. They also do all of the work to heal your leaky gut. In fact, if you wanna go grab my food guide right now, I actually have 12 nutrients on there that help support your mitochondria. Make sure you start eating those things. Another thing your mitochondria need is oxygen. 
Now, if you're anemic in any way, even a little low on iron or a little low on B12 or folate, there's different kinds of anemias out there. That is not good for your metabolism. Also, if you have any issues with carrying oxygen in the body, like if you have any thyroid issues, if you have high blood pressure or low blood pressure, these are all terrible things because you're not getting enough oxygen circulating and your mitochondria are like, <laughs> can't breathe. They need oxygen to make fuel. They need oxygen to power your brain. Make sure you exercise. That's a great way of getting oxygen to your cells. My fifth best way of boosting your metabolism so you can have the energy and the brain function you want is to get enough of a age-old vitamin that we really desperately need, which is vitamin Z. I know it's not a nutrient that a lot of people think about, but when you are sleeping and you're getting deep sleep, that is the magic pill to fight cancer, to bring down inflammation, and also for us to clean out all the debris in our brain and in our cells. Now, if you're taking sleeping pills to try to get your vitamin Z, it's not the same thing. I have a few tips. Make sure your bedroom is a sleep sanctuary. Noise, light, temperature, all really do matter. Do you have a wind down routine? A lot of my clients in their 40s, 50s, and 60s really need to pay attention to good light exposure and dark exposure so that their circadian rhythm can function properly. We have this part of our brain in our hypothalamus called the SCN. So our SCN gives us signals based on light and dark exposure. We also make melatonin in the pineal gland based on these signals. So it is super important that you get daytime light exposure and at night you try to minimize your exposure. Now, if you're like me and you sometimes are on the computer in the afternoon into the evening, you wanna make sure to be wearing something like blue blocking glasses. My favorite are the kind that are tinted and I'll link below the brand that I like to use because they can put prescription in there. You can make them different shades depending on how much dampening of blue light you need. So to recap, the five best ways to boost your metabolism after 40. Number one, stable vitamin G. Get that glucose low and slow and steady all throughout the day. Number two, take care of your adrenals. Look at what your stress coping mechanisms are. Make sure you're not always in fight or flight. Number three, make sure you're giving your gut a lot of TLC by eating lots of diversity, making sure you're pooping. Number four, you want to be thinking about taking care of your mitochondria. Eat those 12 nutrients I was telling you about on my must-have food guide and make sure you're getting enough oxygen to your cells and to your mitochondria for them to work well for you. And last but not least, number five, you got to get enough vitamin Z. Super critical for metabolism. Can't tell you how much this is a magic bullet for a lot of people if they can get this dialed in. And you made it to the end of my video. Give it a like and make sure you stick around for the next one.